All right, so next we're going to list this on Facebook in an ad. And so before I start doing that, I just want to do mention something. Um, when I first created this video series, I had this idea of creating this shirt, but I just want to create the shirt as an example to show you the process of how you list a campaign in Facebook for your Teespring um, campaign. So I don't want you to expect that we're going to make a whole bunch of sales by selling the shirt. In fact, I expect not to make any sales with this shirt. I just want to use it as an example so you can see um, step by step how to um, you know put your link in there, what targeting you should select, um, if you should use page post or clicks to your website, all those different things. You see, I would rather show you a live example instead of just showing you a PowerPoint presentation in this video and just showing you bullet points. I don't know, I don't learn very well that way. I learn better by watching people do it. So that's why I came up with this idea and I also showed you how to design this in a previous module because I'm gonna take this all the way through and we're gonna list it on Facebook. And if it makes sales, that's cool. If it doesn't, you know, don't worry about it. It wasn't designed uh, in order to make sales. This was this course was designed to show you how it's done instead of just explaining everything in a point by point sort of PowerPoint presentation. So please don't be disappointed if this doesn't make any sales at all. But the thing is just um, watch how I do it and use all these concepts with your designs and you will be successful. And the idea is you want to be launching a lot of campaigns at once. So like a minimum of three to even five. Like with this design, I could have tried some different designs. I could have put a plane at the top. I could have changed the wording down here is by saying, it's okay, I'm a pilot, instead of just having I'm a pilot. So there's there's three shirts right there I could have tested. So anyways, I'm just gonna stick with this one. We're gonna move forward and list on Facebook so you can see a full working example and how we do it there. So the first thing we wanna do <clears throat> is I wanna go over to the fan page that we created and, and this is what I'm going to do. I want to post an image and do a post on this page and then I'm going to send traffic to that post through the ad manager. So it's sort of like a promoted post is, what, is technically what it's called. <clears throat> and then I'm also going to create um, some dark posts which are unpublished, not published on this page um, that also go to the shirt. So I'll create at least two, maybe three. We'll see how we go here. But we'll get at least two ads running to our page the first thing you want to do is do it here. But before I take you into the ad program, <clears throat> ad manager, I do want to explain a little bit about how it actually works so you understand. Sorry, if you already know what, what the ad program is all about, the ad manager and stuff, just bear with me for a few minutes while I explain it. Let's bring up my little drawing pencil here, old school style. <laughs> so basically when you set up a campaign, the very first thing you got to do is you got to select between three options. The three options are post page engagement. So let's put a box here and go post page engagement. Or you select um, website clicks. So I'll just call it website clicks. And then another one is webs uh, website conversions or product conversions or something like that. So the idea is what you want to do is use one of these one of these things. These things are called objectives. So you want to set up your objective objectives at the very beginning when you start your ad campaign. And when you start your ad campaign, your objective, whatever you select, website clicks or conversion website clicks or post page engagements, this will be, will be applied to all ads within an entire campaign. You cannot change it later on. And this is how it works. So inside of this when you create this it creates a campaign okay so you're at the campaign level and within a campaign you can create ad sets so an ad set let's call it AS you can have multiple ad sets you know one ad set here one ad set there one here and then within an ad set is when you create your individual ads and these individual ads are the ones that are going to your Teespring page. So this ad is going there as well. So that's how it works. And at the so at the campaign level, this is where you have to set whether you want post page engagements or website clicks or website conversions. I usually stick with these two here. This one and this one. 
Website conversions, I haven't really used that much, so I haven't, I can't really talk about it that much if I haven't used it. So I'll just stick with the other ones. And those are the two I mostly use. The page, the page post engagements, this one, am I saying it right? Page post engagements? Let me just check. Yeah, it's page post con, uh, engagements. And then clicks to website and then website conversion. So clicks, it could be CTW, clicks to website. So the way this works is when you're at the campaign level, you have to select your page post engagements or your or clicks to website, and that will go for the whole campaign, meaning that every single ad in here has to be either whatever you pick at the front of your campaign. But at the ad level, at ad set level, this is where you can set your how much you want to pay per day. So you can actually set this one to be like 50 bucks a day for this ad set. This one could be 20, this one could be 10, sort of thing, right? And usually I just do one ad set and just have a, a couple ads in there. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to do page post engagement and then I'm going to create one ad set that's going to point right directly to that post that we put on our fan page. And then I'll create another ad set and I'll put a couple of ads in there pointing to um, at least two of our ads that we created, those image ads that we created in uh, a previous video. And then I'll set 25 bucks per ad set. Now usually I wouldn't spend that much but I just want to show a whole bunch of things in this video and we might as well use my money instead of your money to do it, right? It'd be kind of fun. And let's hope that I get my money back but I'm not, I don't have any expectations. I just want to show you the process of how this works. Let's get rid of all my drawings there. There we go. And so the first thing you got to do here is you want to go into your campaign. Sorry, your campaign. Into your Facebook account. So, And in your Facebook account, you should see um, this link here, Ads Manager. Now, if you don't see Ads Manager show up in here, sometimes it just like disappears for some weird reason. Just go up in here and type in Ads Manager. And it should just come up. Uh, where is it? Is it this one? Yeah, that was that one. So, all right, now we're in the ads manager. And you want to click create ad. So, for this example, I'm going to actually use the ad manager inside of Facebook as opposed to using the Power Editor um, uh, Chrome plugin. So, I'll do that in a different video. So, this one. I'm just going to use the, the tool that they have in our account, which is, again, just clicking that little button, create ad right there. Let's go ahead and create an ad. So I can do post page post engagement. But before I do the page post engagement, I still have to go back to my page and I want to do an ad there as well. So I want to do that first before I do this. So let's go to our drop your gear fan page and you can access your fan pages from inside your Facebook account. Like if you go to Facebook account, on your left hand side you're going to see all these pages. <laughs> That's my little daughter right there, putting putting toilet paper on our dog. That's pretty funny. Alright, um, here we go, drop your gear. So I'll go there, and I'm going to post an image here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to do a photo post. And sometimes when I when you post you could actually just post your link like if you come here and you grab your link here and you right click and copy your link from your page your campaign there and you paste it whoops um, that was definitely the wrong one um, okay let me try that again here I don't know why I did that What is going on here? Try that again. Right click and copy. I think I pasted something in there. That's what happened. Okay, I got it. I had something on the clipboard and I pasted it in there. So you just drop your link in there and um, you can see the picture come up right away. And this is a, a, a link post. And then you can come in here and you can edit all this stuff. But what I'm going to do for this particular example here is I'm not going to do that. I'm going to upload an image. 
Now the reason I, I'm going to do this is because I want to test, I want to show you a bunch of different ways you can actually list and add. So one way is what I just show you the status link. And the main difference between this method, if you just enter your, okay, I'll have to refresh here. If you just enter your link in there, and when you post, if you post this result here, uh, it's taking a while. There we go. If you if you actually post this right now, when people see this in their news feed, they'll when they click on the image, they actually go directly to your page. So that's the difference, the main difference between doing it a status post or a photo post. So when you do a photo post, so let's grab our shirt, our photo post. When people click on the photo, it will actually just enlarge in the screen. So let's go back to my. Facebook here. See if we can click on my daughter's image there. If you click that, see it just opens up a little bit bigger. That's basically what it does. Now you're probably thinking, well, I don't want to waste my clicks from people clicking on it, looking at a bigger image. You want them to go to the, the site, right? But what I found is that when you post an image, especially an image like this, you, I want to engage the people to share it. And when you post an image, it actually looks nice and big and fat in their newsfeed a lot bigger than the other way and it draws a lot of attention and people will click on the image and look at it and then they do click on your link in the post to go to your page so I like doing a combination of both so in here what I'm going to do is I'm going to type are you a pilot are you a pilot or a pilot in training Check out this awesome custom limited edition T. And then I'll just put the link there. Right click and copy. And one cool thing you can do is you can add a little bit of tracking to your link if you'd like. So you can go forward slash, put a question mark, and add some data to it. And you can check the Teespring analytics for that data. So, uh, one thing I like doing is I can just go, um, I don't know, FB equals page post one. Just do something like that. And then in my analytics, when I see that link or when I see that little ID come through, and if I see any sales, and it'll actually sales came directly from this page, from this actual post. Okay, that's probably about it there. Um, I can add a little bit more if I'd like underneath, but I'm not going to. I want to keep it nice and short, just like that. So let's go ahead and post it. And that's it. You know, when someone clicks on it, it's going to go large image, but there's a link right here and they can go click on it to go. But this shows up nice and big in your uh, in your news feed. So if I go in, let's see if I like it. And if I go back to my home, I wonder if I'll see that image show up here. No, it doesn't look like it's coming through. Anyhow, maybe I should have liked it before I posted it. <laughs> I could try it again. Let's do that. Let's just try it again and see if I can get it to work. So I'm going to take that and let's just uh, delete this. Let's do it again. post. Let's go to my Facebook and see if it comes through my news feed. Uh, if I go doesn't look like it's coming through. It's probably because it's not uh, much edge rank on that. Um, there's usually a way to see the latest news Uh, I don't see it anymore. They must have removed it or something. Anyhow, it's not working. <laughs> so now we have our first post here. And so what I'm going to create an ad and send traffic right to this ad.
sorry, um, page post. So I'm trying to say, we're going to create an ad and send traffic to this page post. That's what I'm saying. 